In this video, we are going to discuss how to know if your relationship is in trouble and some things you can do to get it back to where you want it to be. The three T's are the most important indicators that your relationship is in trouble. Hang around for a bit to find out what I mean. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment where you are an example of what is possible as lifetime partners and to pass this on to your children and future generations. So, what are the three signs that your relationship is in trouble? They are, there is no talking, no time, and no touching. If you go back to your early days or the first few times you went out, you'll probably remember how you could talk for hours and hours, and time just flew by. You shared your dreams, hopes, failures, goals, desires, likes, dislikes, hobbies. You shared everything with them as you got to know each other. Most men will communicate openly and freely until they win over the woman they are after. Once they have you, they think their goal has been achieved and become quieter. Women, on the other hand, continue to talk and talk and talk. Men talk because they use it as a means to an end, whereas women talk because it creates a connection and they communicate for the sake of communicating with no end goal in mind. As the years pass and we settle into our lives and new babies come along, many couples talk less and less. They talk so little that the average couple spends four minutes a day talking. This spells disaster for a long-lasting relationship to be maintained. I recommend that every couple spend at least 30 minutes a day communicating alone, away from their children. If that means staying up a bit longer and missing out on some sleep, then do it. There are things that need to be done for the sake of the relationship, and this is one of them. A walk after dinner in the warmer months is a great way to engage in conversation. This communication must be two-way, not just one person talking while the other listens. Many couples are reluctant to try anything new, yet I have had many couples tell me they now look forward to the walk after dinner with their partner. The next thing is, no time. Again, going back to your early days, you made time for each other. When we are madly in love with someone, we can't wait until we see them again. We make time if we need to. Most likely, you couldn't wait until Friday or Saturday night for your next day with them. Or you couldn't wait till you got home to hug them or call them. If time was an issue, you put other things aside and have your partner be your main priority. As the years pass, you start spending less time with your partner and more time doing housework, at work, with your kids, etc. Basically, more time apart. If you have gone through the two quizzes, you may recall one of the questions being, what is one way to ensure falling and staying in love? And the correct answer being, spending quality time together. And it goes with point one above. If you are not spending quality time together, then you are talking enough with each other. And the last point is that there is no touching. As you were getting to know each other, you held hands, put your arms around their shoulders, kissed, cuddled, etc. This reduced significantly over time. Many men only touch their partners when they want sex. In my programs, I talk about the importance of non-sexual touching, especially to the men out there about their women. If you are not feeling close to each other, a lack of physical touch could be the primary reason. I have watched many videos on YouTube about couples that are caught having affairs and in every single one of them, the three T's are clear indicators of what is missing. Ladies, your man is not there as much as he used to be and is using hobbies, work and family as an excuse. You need to find a way to introduce more talking, time and touch into your relationship. And guys, if your woman isn't there as much as she used to be, you really need to start implementing these as soon as possible as well. Even the so-called gold diggers think they want a partner with money, a nice car, a big house and the like. What they don't realize is that, more often than not, the people with the money, nice car or big house don't have the time to enjoy it. 
If you are a woman with a wealthy man, he is probably constantly away on business trips, meetings, at work and the like to provide for the lifestyle you have. Very few people have both time and money, and with the partner being away so much, these couples often end up having an affair. What these so-called gold diggers really want yet are unaware of is what everyone else wants, and that is emotional fulfillment. Hence, I strongly urge you to start giving your partner and relationship the talking, time and touching they need to stay loving and passionate. I trust you have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information, click on one of the other videos at the end here or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women or Awaken Her Passion, A Course for Men. I go into more detail with this information in them. You receive a full 30 day money back guarantee and get to listen to two thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you, so click on the link in the description box. I trust to chat with you in our undergraduate Facebook group.